So I'm going to explore three elements of the new whiteboarding abilities inside of ClickUp. Before we begin, if you're interested, you can subscribe here. It's a brand new channel to dive into a range of ClickUp skills, tutorials, news, and abilities that you need to know if you're checking out or maybe even using ClickUp right now. So the new whiteboarding abilities are fairly new. They've been around for a little bit of time. You can actually get them on the free plan with currently a limitation of three whiteboards and you naturally can get more on more higher plans. I'll include the link in the description. So how do I go about adding them? Whenever you've got a, a space open and you have a project inside of that space, well, you can go ahead and add it as a view. This helps you to visualize it in another way that adds on to some of the many ways that ClickUp already does do that. So if you go up here, you can click view. Now down here, you'll see page view and you'll see whiteboard. This allows you to really transform the look of a page that you might be working on. And as you can imagine, you can either use the private view, which is good for your own sort of visual demonstrations of stuff, and you can also pin that view to your uh, area. So if I go ahead and uh, enable that, create a brand new whiteboard, you're met with a bit of a templating options. There's a few here that you can get started with straight away, like for example, brain, brain writing, reverse brainstorming, retrospective, and even things like sticky note pads. I'm actually gonna keep this fairly simple and go with the concept mapping. Although there are a few different options here, and you can actually start from scratch if you did want to. But I'm actually gonna go with the concept mapping here. So you can see here that they start to pre-populate it and I'm just gonna to go to the top left-hand corner and collapse this side so I get a full view of what this looks like on ClickUp. And as you can see, I can get started straight away. Now let's touch on three elements of this. The first is visual. You can create not just lines, you can create shapes, you can also create notes inside of that. And you can do this by going over to the draw icon. You can change the color options. You can also change the shape and what shape body you can have and include text inside of that too. In order to create notes, you can create these little sticky notes and they apply really helpful when you're using them in particular with Teams. And you can go and start typing them away. And what's really nice is you can add additional ones over the top as well, just by pressing this plus button here. So I've started to populate this, and as you can see, I'm using some of the pre-structured areas, but I can start building out from these just by using the plus button here, which is really neat. And I can see I can actually um, start building out a thought and I can use all of the regular text formatting that you'd expect as well. I can also modify the shape and style of each of the lines inside of this account as well, uh, which is perfect for improving and customizing it a lot further, especially when you're visually preparing something for other people. So the second ability I'm gonna show you is the converting to tasks. Now, obviously we all know inside of ClickUp, you can create tasks and be able to manage them. That's one of the key elements of your experience. Now, anything you create inside of the mind map or potentially the whiteboard, you can naturally convert it into a task and that's really easily done. Uh, however, tasks actually can't be converted just to no, note, and you can actually choose the list that you create it in. And as you can see, all of your spaces, folders, and lists can be searchable, but I'm gonna convert this to a task really easily. So there we go, you can see it now as a task, and this is really nice because you have a direct correlation between the task that is inside of your ClickUp list to the task that is actually on side and inside of this whiteboard. So this is perfect when you're collaborating with other people, especially if you've made notes inside of that task. It allows the people that you potentially invite to that account to join and actually see this in a bit more detail. 
What's nice is if I press open and I can go directly into that task at hand, modifying all of the regular stuff I'd expect to see in my tasks account in ClickUp. So another experience and the third part of the puzzle is ClickUp cards. And we've already got ourselves a ClickUp card here, but let's go ahead and connect one. The great thing is you can connect uh, any tasks that you've created. You can browse the many tasks you have across your spaces, across your lists, across your folders, even searching for a specific URL if you had it in mind. And you can even connect up dot and lists and documents are coming soon. So this is a perfect way to be able to connect up an existing task that you may want to bring into the system. So one of the things I really like with the ClickUp whiteboard is the ability to move around the canvas, being able to select stuff and use this lovely little sort of toolkit down the left hand sidebar to be able to manipulate what you need to know and move stuff around. It's fairly easy to actually just get started and modify information in real time. And as you can imagine, up in the top right -hand corner, this gives you a bit of an indication of who's working and interacting in real time on the whiteboard. So folks, that is ClickUp Whiteboards. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And if you're interested, do subscribe to Keep Productive with ClickUp. Thank you very much, folks. And I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Cheerio.